Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. I want to show you in this video the basics of using Pixel Mesh to convert a photo or a drawing or other image into pixel art. I'm going to start by just opening a, a PNG file that already has some transparency in it. Um, this is one I just found on the internet somewhere. Um, it's already got the background erased. Uh, you can see if I change the background color here that there's no background um, in this image, just the lemon itself. Um, and the first thing that I'll do when I bring an image in is um, I'll slide this slider to find the right pixelization level. And this is one of the interesting things about Pixel Mesh is just that you can always dynamically change the pixelization amount. Um, but frequently you'll know basically what you want beforehand. I think that's probably a pretty good look right there. If I click on this button up here, that turns the grid on and off so I can see uh, exactly all of the pixels. So I've got my photo imported and I've um, got a pixelization level I like and you can see it's already starting to look sort of a little bit pixel arty. Uh, one of the first things I will generally do, um, you can see my layers over here. If I add an effect using this button, um, excuse me, um, uh, if I choose the Disable Partial Alpha effect, what that does is that there are certain pixels when it's pixelizing it, I'm hitting the uh, slash button, the forward slash button, to toggle between the pixelized and non-pixelized version. You can see that there are some pixels um, that are semi-transparent. Um, and if I have this effect to disable the Partial Alpha, then it will make them um, fully opaque. Um, and so uh, I don't end up with any partially transparent pixels. I actually might want to go in, uh, I'll choose the erase tool and some of these since the color um, is is too bright uh, I'll just come in and delete those, erase those with the paintbrush. I can right click the pan, alright. So, got that taken care of. Now what I want to do is I want to divide this into layers because I want the leaves in one layer and then the fruit itself of this lemon in a different layer. And so I'll click on this button to duplicate layers. So now both of these, um, you can see when I toggle them on and off, both of them have the full image in it. I'm going to rename this layer to leaves only. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same erase brush. Let me increase the radius here. Um, and then just delete, erase everything that's not the leaves. As I zoom in, um, you can see that the brush radius stays the same, which I think is kind of handy. Uh, so it's easier to do detail work without having to keep changing the brush radius. I can just zoom in wherever I want it to go. And so let's decide. I'll take that pixel out. That looks pretty good for the leaves only if I toggle this layer on and off. Okay, and now in the lower layer, I'm going to delete the leaves and have this be root. Oh, Oops. I'm going to have this layer be called fruit only. Um, and then I'll just do the inverse. Come up to the this, uh, erase tool. And uh, let's just get rid of all the leaf pixels. All right. Forget if that pixel is this one right here. I had it in the leaf one, so I don't want it in the fruit one. So I'll take that out. Okay, now we should have two fully separate layers. And anytime I click on a layer and hold it down, um, the program will um, display only that layer. So it's easy to sort of see what is in this fruit only layer if I click on it and hold on it and what is it in the leaves only layer if I click on it and hold on it and I can see that they're nicely independent of each other. All right now let's start uh, adding layer effects to really give this a nice pixel art look. I'll click on this add effect button. Um, let's start actually with the fruit layer. Um, one of the first ones I often add is this auto gradation. What that does is it automatically um, according to the, this slider, it determines how many colors I want to break that uh, that layer into, to divide it into, and it will start with 
this color, which will be the darkest color, and this color, which will be the lightest color, and then it will just automatically transition between them. So I could make the dark color like a darker yellow and the light color be a lighter yellow, and it will sort of uh, transition between those, and I can change the number of gradations. What it's doing is it's automatically looking at this underlying image and just sort of saying, okay, I'm going to divide this up into however many levels of brightness specified by this slider. I think it goes from 2 to 16. Uh, there's no numerical representation of that yet. Um, and then it will just assign that and map to one of those colors. What I like to do is I like to just do it in grayscale. So I'm going to do this. And actually, one handy thing to do, let's change the background color to be sort of maybe bluish so that it's easier to tell um, exactly what's happening here. And so when I've made this uh, this grayscale one, another effect that I can add is this colorize effect. And that what that does is it will um, it will just take the the luminance values of the underlying layer. If I toggle this on and off, you can see these just have different brightness values, and then it will color it according to those. And the reason I like to do this with the auto gradation, the colorize, is then it's easy to change the color of the whole thing while keeping the, the gradations between light and dark. And so we can make this fruit whatever color we want. Let's go with like red. Um, you can adjust it to be how you like. Uh, and then let's come up and do a similar thing with the leaves layer. I'll add effect for auto gradation. Uh, if I want two or three, let's go with three different gradation levels. And I'll add effect, uh, colorize, make that green for leaves. And I can go back to this, to any of these effects. These are all applied live. And so I can change the, the darkness of the darkest part of it um, by adjusting the, the dark color in the auto gradation. Let's make it uh, there. All right, so this is starting to look real pixel arty. Um, at this point, frequently what I'll want to do is then I'll want to go in and start editing individual pixels to sort of clean it up. Um, I mean, you can just go with something like this and it's nice, maybe add an effect. Let's add an effect on the master layer and outline. Um, you know, that looks great for uh, depending on your needs. But if you want to go edit it pixel by pixel, um, let me remove this effect. What I'll frequently do at this point, you can see I'm still using this underlying high resolution image. Um, and I can, you know, adjust it to pixelize it to different levels. Um, but we've sort of tailored it to be, cust to, be uh, to look good at pixelized at this uh, 34 by 40 grid. Um, but, so what I'm going to do now is basically bake in this resolution and these effects so that then it's easier. I don't have to worry about um, all the ramifications of all the layer effects if I just bake it all in. So if I come up to edit, I can either bake just the resolution or I can bake the resolution and the effects. So if I bake these in, you can see now both of these layers have no effects and I'm also at full resolution. And so now my image actually, my original image actually is um, just each of these. I've got the three colors in the fruit and the three colors in the leaves. And this will make it easier to go in and, and just paint the pixels how I want them to be. So I'll select the paint tool. Um, let's start with the fruit layer. Um, if I hit C, that pulls up the color picker, and so it's easy to like uh, pick a color and then just sort of start painting it in. And so maybe I want to kind of smooth out some of these gradations. Um, uh, let's keep painting with this middle color. Something like this. However you like, you can get as detailed as you want or uh, as messy as you want. Looks pretty clean. Uh, let me just do a quick pass on the leaves. Let's uh, get this middle color. Make it so that the highlight is only at the top, and then come over here. Make sure we get our shadow color at the bottom. All right, that looks decent. And then you can still go in and, and still apply layer effects. It'll just be layered on what is there now. So like, uh, you can still come in. Let's put outline effects on these things. Uh, this is just on the fruit layer. 
or maybe a dark red will look good. And then on the leaves, we can add an outline of a kind of a dark green. There, that looks kind of neat. Turn off the grid. Uh, we'll put this back to a gray color so we can see. There you have it. We've converted that original lemon graphic into an uh, unspecified red fruit. Uh, that's the basic workflow, and you can um, skip any of those steps or do it totally differently. This Pixel Mash supports a lot of different workflows, which is one of the kind of neat things about it. But it's particularly good at starting with a photo or a sketch, um, which would be a similar workflow, and converting that into pixel art. So we hope you'll enjoy it and give us lots of feedback on the beta. Thanks.